This is Dr. Andrew Jones. In this edition of Veterinary Secrets, we're going to be discussing the toxic dog treats and three simple, safe, and easy treats that you could be making at home for your dog or cat now. FDA recently issued another warning about toxic jerky treats. Here's a recent headline from the Huffington Post. More than 1,000 dogs have died as a result of the toxic treats. The FDA has received 4,800 reports of pet illnesses since 2007. The cause is still unknown. Affected dogs are showing signs of kidney failure. Increased drinking, increased urination, progressing to weight loss, weakness. Majority of cases, this is then diagnosed by their veterinarian. It's a very painful way to die and very disturbing that these treats are still being manufactured and sold worldwide. The first big point, big takeaway, avoid giving, giving any jerky treats to your dog. The FDA reports that many brands are affected and most but not all are from China. Some of the popular brands, Wagon Train jerky treats or tenders, Canyon Creek Ranch jerky treats, Milo's kitchen home style dog treats. The other big point is that you actually starting to make treats at home. They're ones that, and these are three particular ones which you can feed to your dog or cat. They're safe, tasty, and easy. One, turkey or chicken jerky. I mean, all you need is chicken or turkey breast, vegetable oil. Set the oven to 225. Thinly slice the chicken or turkey to quarter inch. Lightly grease a baking sheet and then place those strips on the baking sheet. Bake in the oven for approximately three hours. Obviously this varies with the ovens, but the principle is cooking for a long period of time at a low heat. Um, here's a picture here of chicken strips that have been dried and then turned into jerky. The meat, meat then after can be cut into smaller pieces. You can safely store them in the fridge for up to a week. Obviously long term in your freezer. The big point in cooking them is to have the, all the moisture removed. You want them to be very dry. Um, so if you're not sure, just leave them in the oven longer. The second easy treat, liver training treats. I mean, it, it's a fabulous recipe, easy to do at home. It's a very easy treat recipe. It can be given to your dog or cat with only one ingredient, beef liver. Preferably do something like organic calf liver. We know that's going to be the safest form of liver to feed. Preheat the oven to 225, line a baking pan with parchment paper, cut the liver into quarter inch strips. You, know, you want to space the, the pieces of liver on the pan so they're not touching. You're going to bake it for two to three hours, ro rotating the pan after an hour, an hour and a half. Then after, that's, after the cooking is done, let it cool in a wire rack for about 10 minutes. Here's a picture here of liver that's been dried. Take the paper off the pan and allow the liver treats to cool and dry out. For long storage, you can keep them frozen. One big tip is it's easiest to cut the liver if you freeze it first, slightly let it th thaw for a couple minutes in your kitchen, and then cut them up into those quarter inch strips with a sharp knife. A really simple, easy treat, very healthy, one that I encourage you to try with your dog or cat. The last treat I want to mention is pumpkin flaxseed dog biscuits. Um, that we require two cups of pumpkin puree, three eggs, a third cup of vegetable oil, a half a cup of water, a half a cup of flax seeds, and six cups of flour. Preheat the oven to 350. You're going to mix all the ing ingredients together. And once you've done that, the dough should, is going to be fairly stiff. Then you want to roll out that dough till it's about a half an inch thick. Cut it up into the desired shapes. You can have special cookie cutters if you so so desire to look into, and they can look into biscuit shapes or just into round circles. You can just use the end of a cup. You want to bake those for about 40 minutes until they're lightly golden and fairly hard. And you'll come up with a biscuit, something like that. So there you have three simple, safe, natural treats and that I encourage you to start making for your dog or cats and avoid buying those jerky treats. Thank you for watching this edition of Veterinary Secrets. 
What I want you to do right now is click that link, that link in the box below, and I can send you my free books and videos on how to treat your pets at home with my top natural remedies.